Hi hey everyone, welcome back. So today's tutorial is this look. It's inspired by a summer's evening sunset and I've added in a nice shimmer to make the eyes pop. The first product I'm using is by Too Faced Cosmetics and this is their Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This one is a great one for those of you looking for a primer that's silicone free. For foundation I'm using a medium to full coverage one. This one is Illamasqua Skin Base and the brush I'm using is the MAC 130 Short Duo Fibre Brush. I like to use duo fibre brushes when working with full coverage foundations as it doesn't deposit too much of the product onto your skin. Then I like to go in with a beauty blender of some sort. This one is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. And bouncing this over the foundation really does give it a more airbrushed appearance. I also like that by not having to keep working the brush in circular motions, you're not dragging up any dry skin, you're not getting any brush stroke marks. The sponge really does give a really beautiful flawless finish to your foundation. The next thing I'm using is the Amazing Cosmetics Perfection Stick. So this is a cover and contour on the go. I'm using the colour Deep and again I'm just using it to contour. If you are of a deep skin tone you can use this as a concealer. You can see that it's super pigmented and ultra creamy. Initially I was worried that it would be too warm for my skin but once I blended it in it actually worked really well. I'm going back in with my MAC Duo Fibre Brush. The fact that this has still got a little bit of foundation left on the bristles is going to help to blend the contour out. Bouncing over the top of that with my Miracle Complexion sponge just makes sure that everything is nice and seamless. If you're looking for a really nice creamy contour, definitely give this a whirl. You can see it's an absolute dream to work with. I know a lot of you tell me you struggle with some of the popular cream contour products that are on the market. A lot of them need warming up on the back of the hand first, but this one comes straight from the bullet onto the skin and it's immediately creamy and easy to work with. Next I'm going to add a little bit of brightness under the eyes using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is oil free so it's less likely to crease. So much like the Hangover Primer that we first applied, this is infused with coconut water so it's supposed to replenish your skin's moisture levels. The concealer also contains hyaluronic acid which is for a smoother more youthful appearance. I'm using light medium and I'm going over that with a sponge again just to perfect the overall finish. I'm taking my Zoeva 101 Luxe Face Definer Brush and my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Medium Plus and I'm using that to set everything in place. If you're super oily, you may want to set everything in place using something like the Vichy Derma Blend Setting Powder. A translucent powder like that has more durability. As usual, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Medium Brown and I'm just filling in my natural shape. I've already got a little bit of pencil on them from this morning, so I'm just deepening that, so nothing intense. Then to give my brows more texture and make them look a little bit more hairy, I'm using the new Benefit Ready Set Brow, and this is a clear setting gel. I particularly love the wand of this because one side it's got smaller teeth and the other side it's got slightly longer teeth. Next I'm gonna use the ever popular Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. It's got absolutely amazing reviews, so I'm sure it's gonna be a new favorite of mine. The first eyeshadow I'm using is called Mango Tango by Makeup Geek and I'm using my Blank Canvas Cosmetics E42 Pointed Crease Brush to work that into the socket of the eye. This look is inspired by a summer's evening sunset so I'm going in with this orangey pink shade as our transition shade. I'm going to work this colour from the crease of the eye up towards the brow bone. Then I'm working over that using circular motions using my Blank Canvas Cosmetics E25 brush. The idea is to blend as much of that colour away as possible, so that's going to be our foundation layer. Then we're going back in with our E42 brush and reapplying that Mango Tango colour in the same area we've just applied it. As you can see, the second time we apply the colour, it's a lot more intense, so we're sandwiching the shades together. Then we're going back in with our E25 blending brush and working that in circular motions to again blend the colour out. Using the tip of the E42 brush, I'm going to pull the colour out of the outer corner to meet up with the end of the brow. The next colour I'm taking is also by Makeup Geek. This is called Cherry Cola and it's a deep brown with a red undertone. Using the same E42 brush, I'm dipping the very tip of that into Cherry Cola and again I'm working that into the socket of the eye. Although this time I won't be taking it all the way across, I'm going to use the blending brush to pull the colour across. We don't want to take over the Mango Tango colour that we've already got on the eyelid, we just want to intensify it. So you only want to apply a very small amount, blend it away and then we're going to reapply it again. Using a clean blending brush, I'm just working the colour up towards the brow bone. Using a clean E42 brush, I'm dipping that into Mango Tango and I'm putting that on the inner corner of the socket. So we've got a transition from that Cherry Cola on the outer corner towards the nice Mango Tango on the inner corner. 
Next I'm taking Daydreamer which is also by Makeup Geek and it's a foiled eyeshadow and this is a cool toned lilac. So using my blank canvas E24 flat shader brush I'm applying this to the outer half of the mobile eyelid and the inner half of the mobile eyelid. I'm leaving that centre patch free but don't worry if you do get any colour on it, it's not a problem. The colour I'm using on the centre is another foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek, this one is called Whimsical and this is a light silvery pink. By adding a light shade in the centre and darker shades on the outer corner we're giving the eyelid a more three dimensional appearance. To darken those outer edges I'm using Masquerade also by Makeup Geek, this is another foiled eyeshadow. This is a really intense vibrant purple and it's got a warm undertone to it so it's going to work well with the colours that we've got on the lid. I'm placing that on the outer edges of Daydreamer. Taking my blank canvas E23 pencil brush I'm dipping that into Cherry Cola and I'm using the tip of this brush to intensify the socket. The reason I've switched to a pencil brush over a blending brush is because I can be a bit more precise with the placement of the colour. So we've already done the foundation work by applying our transition shades so now we can go in and intensify the areas that we need using the pencil brush. So that we don't lose the Mango Tango shade I'm going back in with the same pencil brush dipped in that Mango Tango and I'm applying that above where we've applied Cherry Cola and then with a light hand I'm blending that using another E25 blending brush. And as you can see it doesn't take much to get that nice blend because we've already got the transition shades underneath which makes blending so much easier. I'm taking Mango Tango underneath the lower lash line but making sure I'm connecting it to the outer corner of the top lid. Then I'm dipping that brush into Cherry Cola and working that closer to the lashes. As you can see we've framed the eye and the lower lash line is now mimicking the top lid. Going in with another pencil brush I've dipped that into that Masquerade colour which is the intense purple and I'm working that into the Cherry Cola colour that we've got on that outer corner. This is going to help to amalgamate the shades so we get a nice gradient. Now I'm going to be using pigments so I'm going in with a shadow shield to protect my base. The first colour I'm using is by Makeup Geek, this one is called Zodiac. I'm applying this over the area that we applied Daydreamer. The foiled eyeshadow will give you a shimmer but this is really going to give you sparkle. The next colour I'm taking is Halo and I'm applying that over the centre where we applied the colour Whimsical. If you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram you'll have seen this up close and seen just how sparkly it is. On a small flat brush I'm applying Masquerade to the inner corner of the eyes and underneath the tear duct area pulling that colour back to meet Cherry Cola. Going back to a flat shader brush and the colour Whimsical, I'm applying that underneath the brow bone to add some beautiful highlight. Ordinarily I don't like this step but for this look it's really fitting. Next I'm taking the Zoeva Cold Pencil from the Black Box Collection and I'm applying that to the waterline. I'm also using that to tight line along the top lash line and then lastly I'm applying that to the top lash line on the outer corner of the eye. I'm then going in with my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara to the top and bottom lashes then off camera I'm applying Eldora M102 Multi Layered Lashes. Moving on to face I'm using my NARS Laguna Bronzer and the brush I'm using is by Zoeva and it's the 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush and I'm applying that to the hollows of the cheeks and pulling the colour up. This is just going to add some definition and just shape your face. I'm also applying a small amount around my hairline. Don't forget your neck, it's the one area that your skin doesn't get a lot of sun. I'm using a firm favourite blusher of mine, this is Lover Blush by Illamasqua, it's a matte finish and it's a peachy tone. And I'm applying that to the back half of my cheeks using the Blank Canvas Cosmetics F40 brush. If you're not a fan of peachy tones you can go with something that's pink. For highlight I'm going to use the Cover FX Enhancement Drops. The colour I've got is Celestial which is this beautiful glistening pearl shade. And because it is such an intense finish I'm applying a very very small amount with my sponge. For those of you that like to glow like a star you are welcome to apply with your fingers or a brush. You can also add these drops into your foundation if you want a nice dewy glow. I just received a load of these Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks. The one I'm using is this muted beige colour which is called Child Star and you know I love a nude. If you're brave enough to wear bright eyes with a bright lip you are more than welcome. And that completes my summer's evening purple sunset inspired makeup look. All the products used will be linked and listed below for you. Thank you so much for watching, if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below. Please hit the subscribe button which is also below. If you missed my previous tutorials you can click on these now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon, bye!